okay let us discuss the next problem so this problem says so problem number 18 so you have here question number 18 so this problem says chloroacetic acid has a k value of so k is given to you 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 chloroacetic acid is this CH2 so chloroacetic acid is this you will have Cl and COOH so this is your chloroacetic acid so calculate the concentration of each ion if the freezing point of so concentration of this is given 0.1 m so I have 0.1 m concentration of chloroacetic acid now we have to calculate the each ion concentration K for H2O is given 1.86 Kelvin molarity minus 1 so this is K value is given for chloroacetic acid are you getting or not so this is the K value that is given to you so uh, let us see how can I go further so you see you can make something like this CH2 Cl is here and then you will have COOH this will dissociate and this will give you CH2Cl COO minus so this is 2 plus H plus now initial concentration for this is C00 now I will have after some time C into 1 minus alpha C alpha C alpha so this is the concentration after some time now I value that is the number of ion at equilibrium number of ion at equilibrium is C into 1 minus alpha plus C alpha plus C alpha divided by number of ion initially so that is number of ion initially is proportional to C so I value is nothing but so C alpha C alpha cancels out so C plus C alpha that is C into 1 plus alpha so this is the I value if you have some idea now I can write one expression for Ka and one expression for Kf we have to find what is the changing so what is the so calculate the concentration of each ion and freezing point so we have to calculate two things concentration of each ion as well as freezing point concentration of each ion can be calculated easily you see now if I know Ka K is what C alpha into C alpha divided by C into 1 minus alpha so C alpha into C alpha divided by C into 1 minus alpha so this is C alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha if you assume alpha is very small and that is obvious because this is a weak acid k value is 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 so let us assume alpha is very small and then you solve if you will solve you will find so let me check 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this value is here 1.36 into 10 to the power let us assume first and then we will check whether the my assumption is right or not so if I assume assumption what is assumption alpha is much much less than 1 in that case I can say C alpha so alpha is under root 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by uh, C C is what point 1 in given in the problem under root are you getting or not so this will come out to be so 1.36 so let me calculate this one here uh, 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 you also calculate and divided by 0 0.1 under root so this value comes out to be 0 0.11 so this is 0 0.11 so now in my case alpha is coming out to be 0 0.11 so that is not true so I cannot have an assumption because if I take assumption this alpha is 0 0.11 and this is 1 so I cannot neglect this there is a 10 percent 11 percent either so I cannot have an assumption I have to solve so solve quadratic so solve for quadratic assumption is not right so if I solve quadratic I can have so 
c is 0 0.1 0 0.1 alpha square is equals to 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 1 minus alpha so this will be alpha square is equals to 1.36 10 to the power minus 2 into 1 minus alpha this is a quadratic equation in alpha if you solve for alpha it will come out to be so let us solve for alpha just let me wait for some time you just solve and let me frame the quadratic alpha square plus 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 2 and this so we solve this one let me check alpha is equals to minus b so minus 1.36 10 to the power minus 2 I have to take plus sign because negative sign has no physical meaning b a square 1.36 10 to the power minus 2 whole square minus minus plus 4 into 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 2 so let me see what this value comes out to be so this is 4 plus 1 5 under root 5 under root 5 minus 1 so let me check under root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 this value into 1.36 and into 10 to the power minus 2 so this value is coming out to be very small value let me check again so this is 10 to the power minus 2 4 plus 1 5 so this will come out outside so 4 plus 1 5 root under 5 is how much so root under 5 is this minus 1 divided by 2 into 1.36 so this and divided by 100 by 2a so I have to divide by 100 also divided by 100 so this value is comes out to be 8.4 into 10 to power minus 3 so this means uh, 0 0.84 0 0.0084 so this value I am getting this value 0 0.0084 what value you are getting a minus b plus minus b a square minus 4 is oh no I have done wrong this I will not get this value let us check again uh, v is square 1.3 so let me use calculator 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 2 and this is whole square plus 4 into 1.36 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 root under this minus 1.36 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 divided by 2 so this value comes out to be 0.11 so this is 0.11 now you see if I have not uh, taken this quadratic I am getting the same value alpha is 0.11 and if I use the cal uh, quadratic I get the same value but that time quadratic I cannot use this assumption because in that case this is just a by chance that I am getting the same value this is just a by chance now see so if I know the value of alpha now I can calculate the concentration of different ion so concentration of H plus you see what is the concentration of H plus C alpha that is your H plus ion C is 0.1 and alpha is what 0.11 so this is 0.011 m corresponding different ion you can calculate c into 1 minus alpha that is the ch2 cl coo minus ion are you getting or not so this is ch2 cl coo minus so this is c is 0.1 so 1 minus 0.11 so this is 1 minus 0.11 so this is 0.89 so 0.089 yeah. so this is the concentration of 
acetate uh, acetic acid sorry this is the acetic acid ch ch so so this is the concentration of ch2cl co chloroacetic acid now concentration of ch2cl coo minus this is same as c alpha so this is same as 0.011 m so concentration of difference of species is this now delta tb i have to calculate delta t for delta tb i have to calculate delta tf delta tf is what i times kf into molarity so uh, molarity is basically but for dilute solution i can assume that molarity and molality remain same so this is molality i use cm so this is molality but for dilute solution molality molarity remain same i is what if you see the back phase, I is, uh, we have defined I is C into 1 plus alpha. So, if I use I is what? C into 1 plus alpha or some place 1 plus alpha. So, this is uh, 1 plus alpha because C will cancel out. So, I have a C here. So, C, C cancels out. So, simply I is equals to, because I is a dimensionless quantity. So, I is equals to 1 plus alpha. So, if I plug this value, I is 1 plus alpha. Kf is given 1.86, 1.86, Cm is what? 0.1. So I will have 1.1, alpha is 0.11. So 1.11 into 1.86 into 0.1. So this value, let me check how much this value comes out to be. So, so this comes out to be 1.11. I think you cannot see the calculator. Oh my God, we can see. So, so 1.11. So let us see. 1.11 into 1.86. 1.11 into. Are you able to see? 1.86 into 0.1. Into 0.1. So this value comes out to 0 0.206. So let us plus, plug this value 0 0.206. So 0 0.206. So this is the elevation depression in freezing point. So normal freezing point is 0 degree centigrade. Normal freezing point of water is freezing point is 0 degree centigrade. Now we will have a this this Kelvin a uh, depression. So now freezing point will be so this time freezing point will be freezing point. There is a depression, so 0 minus depression is 0 0.206 Kelvin. So the now, so this is in centigrade. So this is in basically, if I take 0 degree centigrade, then I have to depress by in this centigrade. If I take Kelvin, then I have to depress in Kelvin because this is the difference. Difference can be in centigrade or difference can be in Kelvin. It can be either in centigrade because difference does not have any unit. So if I take centigrade, so I have to write here centigrade. So this is minus point zero uh, point two zero six degree centigrade so this is the temperature at which now the water will freeze so if i have a solution of chloroacetic acid water will freeze at minus point two zero degree centigrade are you getting or not so this is an important problem we'll discuss the next problem of something of same kind